So now we've reamped all our base parts using an aux end, and in order to save some processing, we want to print that or record it onto new tracks. So I'm going to create three new mono audio tracks, and I'm going to assign the inputs and the outputs, and then I'll name each track. So on each of the aux channels, we've inserted plugins to achieve the sound we want for each one, and that's going to be printed onto our new aux tracks. So let's record them now. So in order to get these three bass amps working in the track, I'm going to have to commit to some automation. So I do know that the distorted amp, the high watt, I'm only going to want on in the choruses. So I've performed some automation muting. You can check it out here. So in the verses, I'm going to want to change my balance. And a nice trick here is to use your markers. I clicked on my verse marker and then I shift clicked onto my chorus. So that'll pick up the whole region. So what I'm doing is raising my low amp and lowering my mid-range amp, which is the SVT. So the 360 comes up and the SVT goes down a bit. Then I can copy that and I can paste that right to the next verse. And if they're in a group, it goes all together. So now I'd like to change the blend in the choruses. I'm going to raise up my SVT and lower my 360, so more mids and less lows. Now I can highlight those areas, copy that, and paste it to the next chorus, and all the other choruses after. So now let's hear a little bit with all the amps in. And now with no amps. <laughs> 